Alright guys, I know I'm late to the party, but I'm here. I have finally got into the party, Charlie. We are going to react to Desire by Limbo Blaze featuring Imadion. And this song is another level. I mean, I like the fact that there's an piano song on the other side of music. As in the gospel music, that's what I mean. Yeah, so let's get straight into the war, into the video. I'm hearing it looks like they've muffled the beats for the intro. Let's let me play for you to see. So it's muffled. You try this play music on your phone or loudspeaker and put the speaker, the side of the speaker in your mouth. The sound you get you now that's like muffled sound. So they did that effect. I don't know why, but I think they did it to build um anticipation for the actual song. So let's go. Uh, be more pleasant, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a piano beat and I'm a piano beat fused with afro beat, you know. I'm a piano is a different genre from afro beat, but I'm a piano and it's on sometimes can be a little bit boring, you know. So this fuse it with afro beat so that I'm a afro beat will be like the skeleton of the piano. Am I making sense? Yeah, me. You know, bless me on the daily. Ah, you know, I get it when you tell me no, it's the way I want to go. I mean, yeah. you save me from myself. There's one line. In this song that I like, and you just said it. You saved me for myself. I think there's a point you realize that you you are wicked. The Bible says, I think it's, it's in Jeremiah, oh, that the heart of man is wicked and deceitful. And that when you get to the point and you get to know that this body is no good, and God has to say literally save you from you. I like that point. When you when when, when you are in that posture, it gives you, it makes you able to. Ask God for help for yourself because you know you are not good. Am I making sense? You're so intentional with me. They know the people are yeah. telling me no. You get the little thing with the no no. Your grace is gonna end this cause you know. No, 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 no. Oh my god, your command. I'm not gonna move to your command. We are gonna play with your command. But I go run if you command. So this I think for some people this is exciting. Okay, me, I don't know. I like those. I also like this part too. I'll not move on to you. Say I should go, and I'll stay where you, you you tell me to go. And when you tell me to go, I'll run. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Are you see what I'm seeing? So this is simple. If 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 you happen to be listening to secular music. Which I'll be looking at you like some way, of course. Sometimes I listen to, I hear them, I don't listen to them. So if you're like me and you hear some really secular song, you know that there's a format that is in almost every song nowadays. It's called the crowd format. This word is coined by Emotion Controller. Yeah, he has spoken about it a number of times. You are trying to create the concept of a crowd. You see, when you go to a stadium or a festival and a musician is performing, when they say, bam, 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 that response voice you see how loud that response voice feels like and a lot of people saying the same thing and they saying you you get it that's the concept you are driving at and it's a psychological something it's a musical technique it's a psychological something because they make you feel like you are part of the song they make you feel like you are inside the song crowd format is mostly done just to make you feel part of the song so it's like they they record different 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 voices some are far from the mic some are close to the mic and then they sing one same chorus and make it look like a crowd did you hear it? Did you hear what I mean? Let me go back, let me go back, let's go. Am I the only one hearing this thing? Am I the only one feeling this thing? It's serious energy. Hi! So, I don't know what they are trying to do, but I like the room. So, and then to some bass. I cannot, I cannot explain it with words, bro. Let's go. Hey. 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 Now, there's an element in Afrobeat that we can't take out. There's an element in Afrobeat you can't find in normal worship song. And that is, I don't know why I to even give it myself, but this is, the Afrobeat music creates space for you to groove to the song. Gradually, worship music, people are copying it, but Afrobeat 
has to always give you a space to groove. It does not necessarily have to make sense. It doesn't necessarily have to have any lyrical content. It's just somehow you can, you know, groove to. Can I hear the saxophone? Mm, Jesus, Jesus, my God. Jesus, Emadion, Emadion. I don't know if I'm mentioning the name well. Wow, look at the way she came in. Look at her flow, serious. I'm the one here. In the song. Once he switched the nasal one, come on, boy, come on. Go again, the crowd format. We go again. For my part, are you ready? Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. So still playing. Now the song is not empty. There are lots of things going on in the song. I could probably, I can probably, I can't probably. Yeah, Jesus, I'm tired. Probably break them down, all of them down because we miss a crowd. I don't know, but there, there's a lot of things. Going in the song, and I can hear the sounds of it so clear. Jesus, Charlie, I reacted to Desire by Limobilis featuring Ima Dion. Ima Dion, I don't know. Actually, I stand to be corrected. And I like this song. Uh, uh, amazing song. You guys check this song out. Hey!